job, I'm a classical musician, so I, I play the bassoon, I play in orchestras, I teach music to kids, but um, I also uh, I got into boxing for fitness, really, to be honest. So uh, I used to do some Thai boxing at home in Glasgow here, and then when I moved to London, I did some Thai, and then I got back into boxing, and uh, yeah, no, I really enjoy it. It's great for fitness, and then I wanted to compete, so I went into white collar boxing, and I wanted to take it a bit further, and so I decided to go down the professional route. has been great you know I've, it's been a nine week camp I've pushed myself to the limits for this one um, everything has been yeah upper level so I'm feeling great my body's feeling really good I'm being on top form so I'm really excited about getting in there for the fight and I uh, can't wait for it it's gonna be great oh yeah well you can't knock any of our achievements two-time Olympic champion two weight world champion uh, but on fight night, uh, it's just me and her in the ring on the 17th. And uh, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to getting in there and putting on the show. Um, I'm coming over to win those titles, so uh, it's going to be a great fight. And uh, hopefully, the titles will be coming back to Scotland. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, I mean, that's obviously her decision to not train specifically for any person. I don't actually believe that. But, um, you know. I've been training specifically for her for this fight. Obviously, it's my main goal. I've been intending on going over to beat her. So, uh, yeah, obviously, I've been training on I've been working on a few things in camp, and I'm looking forward to showcasing them. So, it's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Oh, it doesn't affect me at all, you know. Like, Chris likes to trash talk. She's uh, into being a little bit loud on social media, and that's, that's her style, you know. I'm not that kind of person, I just say facts and that's how it is, uh, it doesn't affect me in whatever way, she can uh, do whatever she likes at the moment in the slightest, so uh, yeah, no, still fully focused and ready to go. Oh, definitely, I mean my original uh, boxing weight is super well, so I box at like, normally that weight, so when I stepped up two weight classes for super middle, it was a big step for me. Um, and then I was stepping up this one to middleweight, but like I said, um, I really wanted to feel strong at this weight, so I've been working hard, I've built myself up, I feel, feel like I'm really filling out the weight now. So yeah, happy to be going in at middleweight for this one for sure. Super middleweight I think is a step too far for me, it's just a little bit too big. I can't quite get there, you know, so, but middleweight is, yeah, it's great and I feel like I've really filled it out this time, so yeah, no, good, happy. substitute for experience you know when you go into a fight it's uh, for a world title fight you've got 10 rounds under your belt fighting for a world title under that sort of pressure you know you can't there's no substitute for that so that's something that I've taken on board learn from that those are other things as well that you know we've been working on this from that fight into this camp and it's been a massive change and things I've been working on so you know you can only learn from these things um, and yeah no it was a great fight all round and one that I wish everybody could have seen but unfortunately it wasn't on TV so nobody got to see it unfortunately. But. Definitely, I think it can only improve. Um, like female boxing is definitely on the rise. It's, it's definitely improving. Um, the more that more female fights are shown on TV, the more people get behind the women in the sport, and that's really important. So I'm very proud to be co-headlining this event with uh, Carissa because it means it's a chance for everybody to watch what we bring to the table and also watch it at world title level. It's going to be exciting for everybody, you know? So it's a great way to sell it. And yeah, it can only improve and more and more girls get on TV, which would be the dream, basically. I think so. I think we're slowly, slowly, boxing is going to get there, you know? Like MMA is, they've been doing very well. They, they pay the female athletes extremely well. Um, and I think that can definitely improve in female boxing as well, you know, weight of pay has got to go up, um, you know, we're doing the same thing as the guys, we're in there, we're, we're like fighting just the same, leading just the same, you know, it's 10 rounds of hard work for us for a world title fight, so we should be getting paid the same, um, but, you know, these things were slowly catching up with each other, and uh, I'd like to see that happen in the future, for sure. I mean, 
yeah, dream come true. That would be amazing, you know, I'd be so proud to be able to become Scotland's first female world champion and also to bring those world titles back to Scotland. Yeah, it would just be amazing. So yeah, no, looking forward to it.